Hello, welcome to Tony Lawler Ministry. I'm Tony Lawler. Today we're going to be talking about uh, can you trust what your eyes don't see? And that will be today's advice. So to start off, I have a question for you. Have you ever gone out somewhere um, and seen something that you really liked? And in that moment, you said to yourself out loud, self, uh, I'm going to get that, or that's mine. Perhaps you've seen a pair of shoes uh, you liked, or, or an outfit, um, a nice car, or a house. Uh, maybe it's not even material things. Perhaps you've seen a person that just caught your eye, um, the attention that they gave you, um, whatever it was, but it was like love at first sight. Regardless what it is, you claim to have something in the near future, and although it was not currently yours, once your mind was made up on that one particular thing or that item, you focused on it like it was razor sharp and making that thing yours. Now, does this resonate with any of you? Great. Uh, it does with me also. For example, I remember when I wanted a pair of expensive gym shoes when I was a teenager. Now, I said I was going to get those shoes. So, uh, around this time, I was 12 years old. And what I did is I woke up every day at 6.30 a.m. to deliver newspapers before class. And then in the evening, when I was done with football practice, I worked at a local grocery store bagging groceries. Now, working two jobs... It didn't take me long to save up to buy those pair of gym shoes that I really wanted. And I was so happy and proud of myself for setting a goal and obtaining it. Now, little did I know that that example has a name and it's called faith. Now, I, I didn't know at the time, uh, and, uh, but, I, but I had spoke something into existence and that wasn't there before. And year after year, I did it over and over and over. When I got my high school girlfriend um, obtaining a four-year scholarship to college, when I bought a certain car that I wanted, uh, when I started my own nonprofit organization a few years ago, and even getting into graduate school at Wheaton College, and now starting Tony Lawler Ministries. Uh, so there was many things that I said I want and I'm getting. And lo and behold, um, a lot of those things came true. And many of you have done the same thing. Now, it wasn't until I actually attended college that I even knew what faith was. Um, I didn't even know um, who, what you know, the real meaning of Jesus Christ was. I was introduced to church and to Jesus Christ when I was at college. Uh, but ever since then, I have a, a better understanding about faith. And now I want to share it with you. So my question is, can you trust what your eyes don't see? My advice is to speak what you want. And if you believe and you have faith, it will be yours. Don't stop until you get it. The key ingredient in getting what's yours is to trust God to grant you your prayer request. And if it is God, uh, and if, if, if it is good and it doesn't produce evil, uh, if it allows God to get the glory uh, and it's not someone else um, or doesn't hurt someone else, then again, I say you pray and you ask for that thing. And, 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 and if it's a, 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 if you plan on using it for good and not evil, and if it's according to God's will and plan for you to have those things, and then it's yours. Speak it into existence. And if you don't get it, then here's a couple of reasons why. Then it's either that it's not your time yet or it's simply not in God's plan for you to have it. And finally, perhaps it's just the answer is no, because it could be a selfish or an evil thing that you, you desire and want. But other than that, you ask for it. 
and you declare and decree that it is yours in Jesus' name and it will be done. I'm a witness of it. It happened to me in so many areas of my life. Um, and a lot of times I do just, just speak out things into existence and speak faith and life into things. Um, so even for example, on like one of my business cards, um, a, a long time ago, all I did was put down coming soon. I put, put a, put a bunch of different things on there. And one of those you can see is Tony Lawler consultant, uh, Tony Lawler ministries, atonement to hear and disciples for Christ. These are all businesses and things that I had um, put down on a card said coming soon. I did it years ago. And a lot of those things are actually um, working uh, right now through faith. God is blessing me with uh, several of those. Obviously, the ministry, Tony Lawler ministry, uh, that, that will be, uh, that's moving forward through the grace of God. I, I've actually started Lawler Consulting Group, um, LLC, so that's up and going. And there's a couple of other things that I do with speaking and uh, also with the other ministry groups. So, you know, praising God, just putting it out there and speaking it into existence. So uh, one of the things that I, again, just wanted wanted to, uh, you know, share with you. So today I wanted to say, I feel like so many people aren't remembering those past confessions of faith, right? Many of you are sick and you're tired of the struggle, the hurt, the pain, the abuse, the layoffs, the financial struggles, the lack of support, uh, even love as a result feel like God is not listening anymore. But I want to tell you that today that will all change. All right. I want to encourage you to get your fire back and speak life back into yourself. You were made to be great. You were made for a purpose and you have a God given gift that you need to share and with all of us. So speak those things in your life that are not as though they were, right? God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He did it before and he will do it again. All you have to do is trust in him. Say what, what you want out of your mouth and have the self-discipline to go out and get it. And if you only remember one thing today, remember this, that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. In other words, say what you want and speak it into existence. And I trust and believe in you and God does too. All of you that hear the sound of my voice, I speak life and new vision and new revelation into you today. Now receive it and make your gift make room for you and bless others as you do it. May our Lord Jesus Christ continue to bless you, keep you, and prosper you. Amen. Thank you again for listening today uh, to today's advice by Tony Lawler Ministries. Have a wonderful and a blessed day. Amen.